the run off PlayStation Plus. It's apparently bull crap. Alright, so we've we are joined by somebody you never met before. His name is Cooley. Say hi Cooley. Is she there? Oh, okay. So I guess it's just me by myself. And we're gonna finish episode two. Cause I had a good night's sleep. Yay. Hi. Yep, and that's him, that's Cooley. Yeah. My mic was muted. Alright, so. Continue episode two. Alright. There. That should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My Lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is... If the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. Oh, God. Apologies, my lord. I just meant... Enough, Maester. Just remember that you'll want to see gentleness in you, too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord. She's here. Roderick? You look... You're really... I'm sorry for what's happened to you, Roderick. Please. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. What is that I said I'd find Roth as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you're recovering. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove. And... <laughs> so easy to find. I'll be back, guys.
I'm back, guys. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But, Roderick. I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to assure our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. Then your father is a crank. Roderick! If he'd abandoned... He's trying to protect his family. If I told him I thought this marriage was wise, he'd listen. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but it... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff... Needs a bride. Mind your own business, White. My son's affairs are not your concern. Then why not tell him why you invited me? I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. Please, just let Brian come. Not until I'm certain that you know the place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Peregrine. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fuck your soldiers. Fuck you. Roderick, please. See, that's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Neil. Kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsey do that! Snow, I know what Ramsey said. I'm saying something else. 
As of today, I harvest ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. We will not stand for this. What are you gonna do? Bludgeon me with a walking stick? <laughs> well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? I won't bow to Lord Whitehill. And now your brother will pay the price. My lord, are you well? I'm going to kill that man. Savage! Savage mode. Guys, we're in savage mode. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. It was Finn's fault. I think he might be dangerous. We need dangerous men for what's coming. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. He doesn't know me. He's seen a thousand recruits pass through those gates. He knows you better than you think. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one, could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards wow. couldn't face Rob-like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walter Frey and Bruce Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you, but men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch. Alright then. This is my favorite character, Garrett. Awesome there are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. 
What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Same first time I saw it. Am I going to get pushed be a down? Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. So, Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Why don't you just grab one of the torches, set it on fire, and then bring it with you? Instead of having just a jacket. No, I don't like this. I don't like the freaking girl one. So it does apparently three. This one, Garrett and the Roderick guy. I'm here. Where are you? Who is who now? You're here, but where are you? <sighs> Isn't it past your bedtime, lady? Ah! I like her. Oh. Hey, maybe you should hide behind a bush. Where do you <laughs> think you're going? At this time of night. No, you're That's big. none of your concern. Oh, I think it is. Do oh. you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Can't I just stay a while longer? Please. Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. Ha! I hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. What do you know about Lord Tyrion? Oh, I could tell you a great deal about the Emperor. I am sorry about this, Mira, but you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that works. I'd hate to see you suffer. Get up, get up, get up, woman! Uh-huh. Fuck you. 
Places in Fleetwood. No one will ever find him. Good luck and be careful. Thanks. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? I'm pretty sure it was a good idea to keep the knife. Right, guys? Right? No! Ethan! Who's that? Oh. Is that his brother? How many brothers and sisters does he have? Or is that Donic or whatever his name is? What's Quinn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Roland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady. Roderick, I came here because I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. Don't pretend you know what this feels like. We've all lost people, Roderick. Some more than others. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen. Who I know is my father the adult guy? Using Ryan as a hostage, but I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation, but if I can offer you this, it's something at least. Your father was a cruel man. man. He's never done a kind thing in his life. That's not true. I admit he's caused pain, but he's not mistreating your brother. I'm looking after him. But I don't like what? Lord. Wait, is Lord the right here his father? Or is the other guy? He asked me if his father wrong. died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right, but he is only a child. He feels forgotten, alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. Tell him to stay strong. Have him repeat our house words every day until so, I come. So, of course. It, what if you what's his name again? Blonde boy. Home? This war. Roderick, has Garrett, you and know the world. That. Sarah and. We don't Blue. have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead, they send her. Don't worry. She's on her way out. It's happening all over again. I can see it. 
My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. They will take everything from us. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. You must protect them. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You, you both must are going to save each Promise me. We will be free. ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all yeah. stand with us. We are strong. Ethan was just the jerk. We have jerk is boy, jerk is boy. Would you say a few words, my lord? Yeah, you better go. I don't like your father. I mean, I probably met him, but I don't know. My father. He was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honorable. I never knew a better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan, my little brother. When I left, he was just a boy. But when his house needed him, he rose to the task, like a lord. He would have been proud. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester. My husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan, my sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice, and from their sacrifice, new life begins. I am from ice. I, I am, am from ice. ice. No, don't burn their bodies.
Rose Court Gaming 215. Can you all do something at the beginning? Old God's no. I called out the bully. I can't avoid it. Game of Thrones episode two, episode three, hashtag episode three. It's chapter two, but episode three of chapter two. If you know what I mean. Oh wow. Hi. Hello viewer. Next time of Game of Thrones. What is oh. going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill needs to torment us. His son? Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving Tuttle. your own <laughs> Tuttle. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? you guys enjoyed I hope you guys enjoyed chapter 2 um leave a like on this video and subscribe to um subscribe to um noob underscore gaming 215 can't find his name when you typed it in Go to my channel, go to subscriptions. You should see his um channel. New underscore gaming two fifteen. It has Earth that's red and white with some wings. And leave a like on the videos and subscribe. Hope you all got I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, leave a like. Bye!